Today is our annual open house. It's where we open the doors of our fire station for the community to come in. They can meet the fire, uh, the firemen. They can meet uh, medics and police that, that serve the community. They can interact with them and get to see some of the, the, the jobs that they, they perform. The theme for this year's Fire Prevention Week is two ways out. It's to develop a home evacuation plan, have two ways out of every room, go over that plan with everyone in the household. Once you have the plan completed, you make a meeting place on the outside of your house, and that's where everyone goes in case of an emergency. And it's something that should be practiced twice a year. Some of the activities that they can, they can come out to, we have a spray booth, uh, the uh, play spray booth that they can do. We have an extinguisher trainer they can do. The ladder truck, it's showing how they can take someone that's in a bad position and they can lift them up, such as if they're trapped in a hole or if they're off an embankment and they need to be rescued and lift, lift up. This is showing how they do that. This year, we started a swift water rescue in the fire department. We have two of our rescue boats here. The green kayak is for initial rescue, where we give PAVs, our personal flotation devices, to anyone that's in trouble. And then the yellow boat is the rescue that would actually come and rescue. It's Med Center Air. Uh, they were gracious enough to, to come. It's really exciting that they came. What they do is if there is someone that needs to be sent to the hospital immediately and an ambulance isn't fast enough, sometimes a helicopter will be requested and they'll land, load up the patient, and get to the hospital within minutes. Yeah, new this year, the Ghostbusters came. We got two vehicles. We have Ecto-1 and Ecto-0.5, the smaller one. They're really excited to come and show off the volunteers that they have and to show off the vehicles that they have. It's really cool that they're here. The tunnel we have is also new this year. Uh, it's to demonstrate how to stay low if there is uh, smoke in your house and it's designed so you can crawl. So crawling on all fours and you're going through under the smoke. Topper's Pizza was gracious enough to donate pizza to us and anyone that comes out today can get some pizza. This is a simulation that a car is on its side. We see that we already have it stabilized by using these struts, the orange strut at the front, the red, white, and blue strut at the rear. And this crew is gonna take the windshield out, all the glass out, and we're gonna flap the roof. It's called a glass master. It's just like a little saw, but it's made from cut glass. That's what we're gonna do now. You see why the firefighters have to wear all their safety gear? Just all, look at those little pieces of glass coming off. We have to make sure we have the right safety gear on. Our plan as a fire department or a rescue team on the scene is to make access to the patient, begin care, and then remove them from the vehicle. It's an air chisel. We can use it to cut all types of metal. Reason why we do this is if a car came arrested against a couple big trees or something like that, and we weren't able to get the body or the uh, frame out of the way, we might just cut a hole in the roof. Now we're getting ready to lay that whole roof down. People should come out to this event. They can meet the first responders that are coming if, in case there's an emergency and they call 911. These are the people that are coming. They can interact with them. They can talk with them. 
they could see the jobs that they do and see that they're part of the community.